Have you ever asked yourself, are you asking the right questions? <laughs> That's the problem with the world. Most people aren't, and they don't slow down to ask the correct questions. If you've ever truly wanted to understand why, ask yourself why five times. And that's what we're talking about in today's episode of Transforming Your Decisions, the five keys to making better data-driven choices. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of PiPod Chronicles. Welcome to PiPod Chronicles, a series that brings our tech blog to life in a whole new way. Covering an array of topics surrounding Python and tech. From programming tips, best practices, and so much more. Let's get immersed in Python with the Nerd Nook on the go. Right, before I dive into today's episode, guys, I have a handcrafted Python and Git starter pack that I've made for you guys absolutely free. Just head on down to the link in the description and pick up your copy of my free handcrafted Python PDF starter guide for you. In today's data-centric world, making informed decisions has become crucial for businesses, but more importantly, individuals alike. Data-driven insights provide the backbone for all your strategic planning and the way you execute your plans, not just in business, in life. Now we need to understand the importance of data-driven decisions because data really serves as the bedrock for informed decision-making. That's why providing tangible evidence for various hypotheses, that's why it's important. Its significance lies in its ability to offer a factual basis for evaluating your situations and predicting future trends. The amount of data is growing faster than ever. Data is power in today's day and age. It's 2023, we're going into 2024. In a month, asking the right questions is key. Informed decisions backed by data-driven insights carry the potential to optimize and reduce risks while driving sustainable growth. And they empower companies to stay agile and responsive in dynamic market conditions. Asking the right questions is the difference between losing money and making money. That's why it's key. But we can ask ourselves the right questions in our everyday lives as well. Just getting up in the morning, going to work, going to the office. On the way there, we're constantly asking ourselves questions. But are you asking the right ones? By understanding the core objectives, decision makers can align their queries, their questions, with specific goals they aim to achieve. This ensures that the questions are targeted and purpose-driven. Along the way of answering your questions, you're likely to answer other people's questions too. This is key in the learning process. Now, Josh, how do we identify the relevant data points? Well, to facilitate informed decision making, it's imperative to employ reliable data collection techniques. So what could you do for that? How could you survey more people? Well, you could survey them. That's asking a wide range of people questions. You could survey, you could interview, you could data mine, you could acquire data sets, right? You wanna collect as much as you possibly can to give yourself a wide collection of data. And this ensures the authenticity of the data. The more places you can collect from, the better your answers are going to be, or the more reliable your answers are going to be for the questions you ask. Thorough data validation procedures help in filtering out misleading information. Now we have to talk about how to craft contextual queries. Contextual intelligence, or these queries, they enable the framing of questions that are not only relevant, but also consider the broader context in which your data is situated. It helps you in comprehending the dependencies and the implications of different variables. And by defining the scope of these questions, decision makers can avoid ambiguity and ensure that the data acquired directly contributes to resolving the questions they have. Now it's time to explore diverse perspectives. That's why I love traveling, right? You get to see so many different cultures and perspectives. Encouraging inputs from diverse perspectives enriches the questioning process. It allows for a comprehensive analysis of data of various viewpoints, which is so important. This fosters a more holistic understanding of complex scenarios. 
So try to get as many factors to input as possible, and this is going to give you a better idea of the answers your data provides. Collaboration among teams or stakeholders encourages a collective approach to asking questions, and this leverages the collective intelligence and experience of multiple individuals to derive a well-rounded insights from your data. Asking for more people's input will only further your findings and provide you a better answer. You need to evaluate your data reliability as well as bias, right? Because assessing the reliability of the data sources and the methodologies employed in data collection is crucial for ensuring the accuracy and the credibility of your insights. Conscious efforts to identify and eliminate biases in data interpretation and data making processes are essential to ensure that the conclusions drawn are unbiased. You're asking the right questions. It's now time to get tools. How can you use tools or what tools should you be using for, for your advanced data manipulation process? Well, utilizing these advanced data tools and software, it can streamline your process. Now. I'm huge into Python, you know me. This is a great time for that key understanding of Python to come into play. Have you ever heard of anything called Pandas? Because I have a whole series out about this. Head over to my blog, The Nerd Nook, or the link in the description. Data visualization techniques like graphs, charts, and dashboards can simplify complex data sets, and this makes it easier for decision makers to grasp and understand the trends in data. Right? If you're playing with data and you're asking questions, you're really a storyteller. How can you tell your audience a story that they'll understand the data with? That's what Pandas is for, that's what data visualization. Let's talk about some challenges in data-driven decision making. We need to overcome analytical paralysis. The abundance of data can sometimes lead to what I call analytical paralysis, where decision makers can become overwhelmed by the sheer volume of information leading to delays or ineffective decision making. Strategies to manage or streamline data analysis can help overcome this challenge. And you need to address data quality issues. Ensuring the quality and data integrity can be a persistent challenge. And that's why you need to implement robust techniques or come up with your own practices to help minimize data quality issues and ensure reliability. While this is really all we need, in data, you need to be ethical. It's just an unspoken guideline in the world of Python and Pandas and data analysis. Ethical considerations for your data usage. So adhering to just basic standards in data collection and analysis is imperative to maintain trust and credibility with your audience. Respect privacy. Respect confidentiality. These are just rights and interests of individuals. If you want people to respect you and respect your work, respect them. That's where it really starts. And more importantly, if you're based in the U.S. or some other EU countries, you got to make sure that you follow data protection laws. Okay, so most stingy countries in the world, EU, America, Canada, they probably have some kind of data protection laws. The question now sums up, Josh, how can I enhance my decision making through practice and learning? Well, you need to cultivate a data-driven mindset. Cultivating a data-driven mindset involves continuous learning and practice. Now, <laughs> if you're a programmer, then you know this. You will never know everything. I'm always learning. How can I learn more and how can I take what I learn and teach people with that? How can I break it down to teach more people? That's what I love. So you need to cultivate a data-driven mindset and that involves not only the learning part, but encouraging individuals to remain curious, open-minded, and proactive in acquiring new skills and techniques along the way. The importance of continuous learning is the day you quit learning is the day you die. Okay, simple as that. You are not progressing in life if you are not constantly learning. That could be anything. Okay, quit mindlessly watching YouTube, though. Get out there and learn something, a hobby, painting, drawings. Uh, it could be coding, right? It could be writing. Do something. Learn and you will get better. Now, the five key questions of today's episode, guys. What are the five key questions in order to make data-driven decisions? Number one, what is the specific problem or challenge to address and what are the key objectives? Two, how can we ensure the reliability and the authenticity of the data being collected? 
Three, what is the broader context surrounding our data and how can it inform the framing of our relevant questions? Number four, how can we effectively utilize diverse perspectives and mitigate biases in data interpretation? And finally, our last question, how can we continuously refine our data analysis skills and stay adaptable to the evolving markets? These are five key questions to ask yourself in order to make key data-driven decisions. To wrap up today's episode is a bit different from the Python episodes. The ability to ask the right questions is a fundamental skill in leveraging data-driven insights for informed decision-making. And by understanding these nuances of effective questioning, validating data authenticity, and embracing diverse perspectives, individuals and businesses can unlock the full potential of data to create sustainable outcomes. Guys, I can leave you with this. Here are some key FAQs. What does FAQ stand for? Fact, answer, question. I don't actually know, but here are some popular questions I get asked by some of my students or I have been asked along the way. Okay, so to recap, how do I know if I'm asking the right questions for my data analysis? Well, to ensure effective questioning, it's important to align your questions, your queries, with the specific objectives and context at hand. Some common challenges in data-driven decision-making include data quality issues, analytical paralysis, and biases in interpretation, which can be addressed through the way you answer these questions and your ethical practices. How can businesses benefit from these decision-makings? Well, data-driven decision-making empowers businesses to stay informed while making strategic choices. This takes away more risk and it allows them to seize more growth opportunities. Some recommended data analysis tools for beginners that I recommend that are not Python related. I'll give you a Python related one. For beginners, check out Excel. You should have basic knowledge in Excel. And then you can move into like Tableau. And Tableau is, is a data visualization tool that you can take to visualize your data. It's like a dashboard. Okay, if you want more of the coding, the pandas approach, check out obviously Python. You need Python or R is great for data analysis. I love pandas in matplotlib, but I have been working a lot with Plotly lately while creating dash dashboards. The options are endless. Well, guys, that was another episode of PyProd Chronicles. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I cannot wait to hear you guys, or I guess for you to hear me in the next episode of PyPod Chronicles. Guys, if you like today's episode, hit that like button and restack as that helps me reach more students around the world. I'll see you guys in next week's episode of PyPod Chronicles. Until then. <laughs>